hotel has undergone some financial difficulties recently, but Mr. Clifford has not given us a raise in a couple of years. That's why he started his advertising campaign to promote the He even started hiring wealthy and famous people, personally inviting them to stay at his house. Is that how the fair boxes were up here? Yes, they were the only ones to respond to his letter. Thornton, let's interview these two together. Oh, work together. Well, that is quite amiable of you, Wickfield. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> I've seen your questioning tangents. Uh, Miss White, Heimlich, Heimlich, do you have a last name? No. Grace. <laughs> Miss White, Mrs. Fairfax claims that you brought her a cup of tea last night, and that's the last thing she remembers. We believe that there was a strong sedative in that tea. Sir, by making that tea, I was only following Heimlich's instructions. I didn't to make, I didn't expect him to make tea for that woman. Why would I do that? He didn't see any of my food. Yes, he did. He, you left out the tea and the teacup with a note instructing me to make it and bring it to Mrs. Fairfax when she arrived back from dinner. Your note said it was intended as a peace offering. What does that mean? Peace offering? But the only put peace offering up for that woman is a piece of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sound guilty to me. Obvious contempt for the victim. So, Heimlich, you deny writing that note. <laughs> Miss White, do you remember what happened to the note? I might have thrown it away, or it stole me in person. All right, thanks to both of you for your time. Uh, Dort, are you finished here? Oh, yes, you guys have been here for your time. Thank you so much, so much yesterday. Yes, of uh, Miss Reed, you have the staff and guest list there. Have a question to everyone now? Yes. All but one guest. We just signed her name with an X. Hmm. Dora, go and see if you can find this mysterious X character. You can't do this to me. I'm an American citizen. I know my rights. <laughs> you better watch out. He'll get you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chief, we've got these two sneaky at the back door. We also found more than are missing evidence. Look. Happen to find any diamond necklaces? <laughs> yes, but we're still looking. Gee, <laughs> gee. <laughs> <laughs> they just said that he got missing at the hotel about an hour ago. <laughs> Great. Just when we find our missing evidence, one of our suspects is accused. What else could possibly go wrong today? I quit. I quit. I get no appreciation around here. Mr. Sturgeon is complaining about my food, telling you about his instructions. That's it. I'm done. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Heimlich, you can't quit now. Where am I going to find another cook? And on such short notice? I'm taking care of that. What? Everybody, lunch ready. <laughs> 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 evidence, then we lose it. Then Thorn in the side, Thorn arrives and gets him away. We question suspects, and they all seem to have some kind of motive. Then one of the suspects just disappears. Miss X is still missing. That nice elderly couple turns out to be a pair of petty thieves. The cook waits, and finally, a truer group arrives to complicate matters. Hey, Chief, are you coming to join the rest of us at the pub to discuss the case? We want to figure this one out before that meddling Thornton does. I'll be there in a minute. Wait, you, you've seen everything that's happened here tonight. Maybe you can help me out. During intermission, the staff and guests of Shady Acres will be walking out here in the common area. If you have a chance, try and ask them a few questions. See if you can figure out who did it. But keep it quiet. If Thornton heard I was asking other people for help, I'd never hear the end of this. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, it's been a long day and I need a drink. <laughs> Right here. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Enjoy your intermission. 